Welcome to another tutorial by Longhorn Physics. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about Coulomb's Law. So here's a typical problem uh, that required Coulomb's Law to, to uh, solve. Two balloons are charged with an, identical, with an identical quantity and type of charge. Negative 6.25 nanocoulombs. We'll go over all the units in a minute and all the fundamentals of the equation that we're going to use. They are held apart at a separation distance of half a meter. Determine the magnitude of the electric force between them. So let's first uh, review all the uh, rules for figuring out whether charges attract or repel. So if we have two, two balloons in this case, they both have negative charges. So we just need to remember that like charges repel, whether they're both positive or both negatives. And as the little heart shows here, and, uh, opposites attract, as some people say. Uh, we have a negative charge and a positive charge. We always um, have an attraction if that's the case. Let's go over the uh, Coulomb's Law equation. Now it looks very similar to an equation you might have seen before, uh, Newton's Law of Gravitation universal gravitation. Uh, the constant is different in this equation and instead of having masses here and the distance between the two objects we have the uh, quantity of charge and these are measured in what we call coulombs. So if our, these are our balloons and they are both have a charge on them. Um, here's the first balloon, second balloon and again F in the equation stands for the force on each on each charge and K is your electrostatic constant and it's Newton meters squared over Coulomb squared and it's a big number as you can see 9 times 10 to the 9 which would be 9 with 9 zeros behind it be a nice bank account uh, the radius is what's a little bit confusing when you see an R in the equation but it really means the distance between the two charges so sometimes uh, different teachers or different textbooks will use D instead of R so we'll just leave it here with R and it's the separation between the center of one charge to the center of the other so that is Coulomb's law so now let's solve our original problem here so we have our Coulomb's law equation we're just going to substitute now uh, we have our constant and then here's our charges remember this little n stands for nano and nano in physics um, or for it's just a means 10 to the negative 9 and so both charges q1 and q2 are the same they're both the same charge a negative and negative which means that they're going to repel the balloons and the distance between them right here is your r in the equation and we got to be careful that we square it uh, when we do the calculations and so I'm going to kind of read off what I'm doing in the calculator as I see it. This is for the TI-30 uh, or the TI-80s. They pretty much work the same way. Uh, this is how I teach my students to do this. It's 9 second EE 9. And on your screen you should see 9 with an E and a 9. That EE button helps you do the, the uh, powers. And that's right above the 7 button. So then we multiply it by negative 6.25 second EE negative 9 and then we do the same thing again and then I hit enter and then finally we're going to divide that by 0.5 and then hit the X to the 2 button on the calculator to make sure we square it and we wind up with 1.41 times 10 to the negative 6 Newtons. Remember force in physics is always Newtons. Remember that guy with the uh, had the apple hit him on top of the head. So force is always Newtons in physics. All the uh, tutorials by Longhorn Physics uh, are available uh, in some kind of book format at a starstudyguide.com. It's S-T-A-A-R studyguide.com. There's uh, books for worksheets, very interactive. Uh, for example, this Physics 101 a lot of worksheets where you have to go through and practice all the units and know the uh, terminology and then you finally get some uh, practice problems and it follows with a mini quiz. Uh, there's 
um, quite a few different types of physics books available at that website. If you feel that can that help you better, available in Kindle and by Amazon.